going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We are watching an ice cream sandwich video. If you're unfamiliar with ice cream sandwich, he is one of my favorite YouTube content creators. Very excited to jump into this. This video is called Things That Would Make Me Rather Be Electrocuted. Wow. That's a very uh, tall order. I can think of a few things. Like what? And so, well, uh, kidney stones. Pooping on a first date with a really hot girl. I don't even want to know. Okay, like I'm pooping, pooping my pants. Oh, or okay, or have, I see. You know, or having to go to the bathroom at all. It's like, no, that's not, okay. this isn't the time. Gotcha. Lots of things like that. But let's find out what he has to say. All right, here we go. Hey. Hey, who are you? Oh, I'm the fairy of discomfort. And I hear you've been a very good boy this year. What does that mean? Uh -oh. It means I have a gift for you. You ever think about how sound is just wiggly air that makes our brain feel things? For example, <clears throat> summertime ice cream, tomato soup with grilled cheese. Mm. Subscribe <laughs> to my YouTube channel. Do that. Do that here Notice too. Notice how some of those made you feel things? Sometimes some of that wiggly air or textile feeling, it makes us suffer. And lately, I've been thinking about the ones that make me suffer and... I'm curious if these are normal. Like there was this one time I was unloading the dishwasher and I had made a mistake that I didn't think would be a mistake. Earlier, when I was choosing all the settings for the dishwasher, I put all the settings on max because that's what I always did. Which huh. seems like it would make sense. If you want to clean your dishes, why not choose the setting that makes the dishes the cleanest, right? That Apparently, seems like the type of thing you would do. That, that, yes, I was just fit. about to say, <laughs> I, went, I, I was like, I don't know why you don't pick max every time. Like, why wouldn't you do because that? Because it's unnecessary. How am I supposed to know? that maybe there's like little invisible germs and cooties in there that i haven't i have a vacuum cleaner by dyson okay and it has three options eco normal and like what is it called turbo, turbo power turbo max. max or whatever yeah. the thing is the max setting drains your battery inside of seven minutes so i bought three batteries because <laughs> so i'm like the bullshit i'm gonna always vacuum in max why wouldn't i like why would i ever vacuum in eco mode i'm leaving little particles behind of dirt I'd rather be electrocuted than vacuum in eco mode. <laughs> Doing it too much can change how your glass dishes feel. I went to put away one of the glasses and when I touched it, I felt such a discomfort that I let out an audible bleh. The best way I can describe how it felt was squimchy. Like when you touch uh, it, squinchy. it feels like a squimch, which is obviously I terrible. think I understand. <laughs> yeah. It's like if glass was more grippy. This is what it sounds yeah. like, by the way. Yeah. I don't know why that's uncomfortable. Has anybody else come across this? Do you know? Do you understand? I do. Can you look into my heart <laughs> and feel what I feel? In college, I had a roommate that would set up a ton of alarms that would go off every five minutes in the morning. Oh like my God. Class, and it would go off for like an hour or so. Oh my God, what? That's you. So okay, that is me, but I don't have them go off every five minutes. That's stupid. I have them go off every 15 or half an hour and then I do it twice. All right, but it's just so much better. It is, okay. because that's stupid. So every morning it was like... <laughs> So now, whenever I hear the iPhone alarm, I feel some kind of primal fear. It's terrible. But the weird thing is, these days, I don't wake up to an alarm anymore. I wake up when my dog wakes me up. And how she wakes me up is she'll get into bed and she'll start wagging her tail. Uh, good morning. <laughs> and you'd think that the same thing would happen. I would hate the sound of her tail, but I don't. You don't. I love it when she wags her tail because she's a cutie patootie. Aww. She deserves happiness <laughs> at all times. What do you find uncomfortable? Is it nails on chalkboard or perhaps sponsorships? <laughs> <laughs> no, come here. <laughs> I hate hair. If it's doing anything except for being on a head, terrible. In food, ugh. on my desk, <laughs> in my face. <laughs> but the worst is when. <laughs> that is the worst. The hair on the face is like bugs me so much when it's like, and it might even be my own where it's just like one strand like right, and I'm like, ah, I can't, <laughs> I can't find it. It won't go if it's in your mouth. It's uh, even, the mouth is the worst like, one. Yeah. You, you you scrub and scrub and you're like, like where is surely, it? Surely. Like I can't even taste anything anymore. <laughs> like surely I got it, <laughs> you know, but you didn't. Yeah, he does not want to live with a long haired girl because I will literally vacuum the floor and uh, over here. He's talking about him. No, yeah, him. Okay. But for me, I'll vacuum the floor here and it's wood floor, right? And then literally I'll 
just live my life for an hour. I'll come back and be like, it's my hair. It's everywhere. <laughs> ah! Hold off. Home. Do you know that sound? Content warning. I'm about to play that sound. Oh, that... Wow. I think there should be some kind of invention that combs your hair without needing to comb your hair so that we won't have to have this horrible sound in our ears. I thought it was a bother Or everybody me. could just go bald and that would probably just solve a ton of problems. Let's use a hairbrush. Ew. Maybe you can figure out why I hate this one. I don't know, but... Yeah, it's you know fine socks? by me. It'd be kind of surprising if you didn't, but anyway, socks, they keep your feet warm. They yeah. are the best in winter and can have fun little designs on them to make you look cool. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to say something else. My pet peeve with socks is when there's like a hole in the bottom because like you walk around anywhere that has carpet mm -hmm. or even places like with this that has wood floor. If you snag your, your sock on a, on a, like a piece of nail, that's like keeping the wood slats together with a oh, carpet yeah. down. I'm always ready for my so that to be the end of my sock. And I look down in a panic. I'm like, not this one too. And then like, sure enough, it's not, it doesn't have a hole yet. But when it does, it's just like the most un un annoying feeling ever. Anyway. I'm in bed. I would not be able to sleep. I want them off. I would rather have no feet entirely. Why is that? Your feet are so far away from the core of your body. It would only make sense to keep them Warmest when you want to be warm and cozy. I get it. At night in bed. That's you uncomfortable. Know after working out and you get really sweaty, or not even working out, you just like when you get really sweaty and then uh -huh. your shirt also gets extra sweaty and then somebody comes along and tries to hug you. Ugh. I don't even want my shirt to be touching me, let alone some other person I get that. when I'm sweaty. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! I'm weak! <laughs> I'm already weak and tired! <laughs> Would it be possible to liquid cool a person? Sure. Saying that out loud makes me seem really dumb. But like, if you take, you know, those gamer computers that have liquid cooling in them, could you do that with a shirt and then put that shirt on a person? I think that would be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> I think one of the worst feelings in the world is at the dentist's office. You okay. go to the dentist's office, you need your teeth cleaned, and they're like, hi, I'm here to help you. But then they crack out that little scratchy thing, and oh, then they oh, scratch your yes. teeth. <laughs> Some of you may be asking, I can think of way worse things, no. such as, what if this happened? Yeah, it no. is worse than that, okay? Anyway, that's about all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go do a cozy thing as a palate cleanser. <laughs> No, I agree with him with the dentist thing. I, I'm surprised he didn't go into that deeper. Like, I have to wear my AirPods while I'm at the dentist to just have other audio to occupy when they're, like, doing stuff and cleaning my oh, teeth or whatever. Oh, that's smart. I uh, just grin and bear it. No, it's awful. It's because it's in the high range, right? Yeah. You know, it's, and like it, it, it's really high. It's, it, and it, yeah. it's too much for my ears. Well, it also just doesn't feel very nice either. It's just uncomfortable. Especially if they like accidentally snag a gum or something and then you're like bleeding. Anyway. They do it every time. Yeah. I think they I think they do it to amuse themselves. Just on purpose. Because because it's always that time where you're like trying to be calm and then and you like twitch, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry. Hee <laughs> hee. And I'm like, I could hurt you. <laughs> like it makes me so upset. Instead I'm paying you to hurt me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I thought his list was gonna be a little bit more thorough. Cause like the things he mentioned, some of them I I understood. Like the socks in bed, I get, like because I don't like wearing socks and when I'm sleeping in bed, it does make me uncomfortable. If I wear socks when I go to sleep, they'll come off when I wake up. Yeah, usually mine end off yeah. as well, just because it gets hot. Like I'll start out initially and I'm like, oh, I'm so cold, I'm so cold, I'm so cold. Let me put on these like warm socks. Yeah. And then halfway through the night, I'm like, ah, the feet are sweaty. And they come off. Hang nails. Oh yeah, they're you know, annoying. Yeah, like when you have a, and especially when you take it off and there's like that skin that's exposed. Yeah, no, I, the, when, I hate it when you have one and then you cut it off and then it doesn't, you don't quite get it. Mm -hmm. And then there's this like painful feeling. And you put sanitizer on. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Yeah, I don't like that either. The one that I felt like the, the most I, one of the most that I identified with in all the things he mentioned was the sweaty shirt one because like as soon as I get to my car I look around from the gym. I look around I'm like okay it's safe and I take my shirt off and get in the car and go because <laughs> I don't it's like it's an icky it's an icky feeling to have the sweat just like resting there in that in that wet shirt you know I just wonder how people who are full white do it you know because I'm half and so I get half the sweat that you would otherwise uh -oh. like I, I think you got more of that. In your genetic I do. lottery, yeah. Achara definitely is like just as drenched. And I'm like, how do you sit in that in in the stew of your own sweat? And it's just uncomfortable just thinking about it, you know? Yeah. I have to, I have to. My trick is I take the shirt off and I use it to like like almost like a towel to get the the remaining yes, wet. Yeah. And then I put that in the trunk because I don't want it 
anywhere in breathing distance. I see, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, the worst is like um, when you do a particularly intense workout and then you're all... I thought you were going to say particularly intense shit, but go ahead. No. <laughs> like, I don't... You shit so hard, you sweat it off. I don't sweat when I poop, okay? Something's wrong if you're having a strenuous <laughs> poo all the time. Okay. But no, like when you do a particularly strenuous workout and then in addition to like just sweating, you also sweat around your groin. I don't think that's sweat. Exactly. That's the problem. Especially when you're like, oh, today I've decided to wear some some cute leggings that are not black. And then it's like, wow, I literally looked like I just wet myself just now. And everybody's looking at you like, oh, that girl had an accident. It's like, no, I just mm. had a workout that was just a little bit too strenuous and I sweat. Okay, so these things, these things you do have to think about. That's not sweat. That's why it's embarrassing. <laughs>